Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kamila Stempień Kutera, and I have a big honor to welcome in our competition studio Mr. Yundi. Hello. Fifteen years ago, you left Warsaw as the winner of the competition, and now you come back as juror of this competition. Is this task hard for you? How do you feel in this function? Um, well, it's a great memory for me. Fifteen years ago, I win uh, from here, Warsaw Super Competition. And uh, after fifteen years later, so now back again as a jury to let the many young generation, young people uh, playing. It's a great honor, of course, and uh, also bring me a lot of memory here. And do you find it complicated uh, to be a juror? Well, it's uh, very exciting to hear many different performances, especially the Chopin's music, which is my most favorite uh, composer in the music. And uh, we have done here many, many different uh, uh, pianists playing, and a lot of interesting. And uh, I think a lot of every jury has been very happy. Uh, of course, it's a long day, every day, uh, big program and. Uh, uh, long time to listen the repeat because many the same yes. music, but still we are very excited because uh, uh, many great performance. Chinese participants are very well prepared from the beginning till now we can see many talents from China. How is music education organized in China? Well, I think last 15 years since 2000, which from where I win the Chopin Committee, and until now, it's a big develop, I think. Uh, as you know, also even in Asia, or in China, or Korea, or Japan, they, I think, already had a long history to learning, study piano, and especially in the classical music side. So I think right this moment is, uh, is, is in really in the big progress, and a lot of uh, young children even from their family uh, already if, when they are very young the family will uh, let the children study piano or any other instrument so it's a very uh, great I, th I think is education from this time this generation so they have a, a good opportunity to study and the family is also very support them so it's getting more open since China I think uh, uh, develop a lot last uh, 15 years. So you have been a big inspiration for younger generation, I can say. Uh, I think that's my good responsibility. So I, even in the future, I like to influence more, yeah, inspire more young people and to know music and especially to uh, know piano. But of course, there are many, uh, it's uh, difficult to be a professional artist, but it's good for the countries to have more music uh, to the children. And uh, in this musical education, of course, the classical music and Chopin uh, also are important. But is there any traditional education in Chinese music, for example? Of course, the Chinese instrument a lot, even from the Chinese singer singing the traditional Chinese music, and also many Chinese instruments like Arahu or something other, some others. Uh, also, Chinese opera is also a big tradition in, in China. So, of course, rather than the Western music, like, uh, of course, piano, violin, or any other, like uh, in the orchestra. So, this is a mixture. But right now, I think it's a, a very fast developing the cultural side and uh, after economy uh, have a big develop in China. So now everybody, and especially I can feel from the, uh, f uh, even a lot of friends that uh, they had a children, they want them to study music. So it's a very good sign, I think, for, for China. And you also promote uh, very much the culture of your country. For example, uh, you recorded a mm. CD entitled Yundi Red Piano. Right. Uh, but coming back to Chopin, I can see that in your schedule of concerts uh, after mm, right. this competition, there are some concerts including the mm. uh, Chopin program. Mm. Uh, did your understanding, did your interpretation change very much during the 
15 years? I think it's a natural, let's say it's a natural develop is as a, as a human. So, so your life is different is, uh, and the experience and thought is different. I think have more uh, contact and feeling with Chopin's music since I've went from 2000. And the uh, last few years I've not played so much Chopin's music. And that's why I called this year from this year is my Chopin year too. Uh, because I just did the new recording, as you know, the Chopin Prelude. Yes. And also preparing for the worldwide tour for all Chopin program and coming to Japan, uh, the 15 recitals and include four ballads and the 24 prelude, which a lot of uh, young um, people playing here. And it's also a good cha challenge for me to listen to many different performances and different feelings. So very excited. And do you have uh, any pieces of Chopin especially adored now by, by you? Of course, I like uh, like what which I play now, the 24 Prelude and the Ballads. This is also the most major repertoire from Chopin music. And also, of course, Concerto, I like it too. Preludes uh, seem to me, and not only to me, very hard to interpret, mm -hmm, isn't mm -hmm. they? It's very difficult because each small piece you need to put to, to, together and also you need to have a structure and uh, you need a technique you need to have a good uh, voice in a uh, good tone and uh, but also very contrast so it's a very difficult piece and but it's very important for us a pianist so there are many great uh, pianists have been played we have been heard many good performances uh, you have your memories from competition uh, really freshly in mind, mm. I think. Is there anything uh, you would like to tell our participants? What can they do with uh, the stress? So I think the most, mostly the, I remember is during the competition, of course, a lot of pressure and you probably sometimes you're nervous and they're not confident, but the most important is just give your heart to the music. The audience and the judge want to listen the music from the heart. That's what Chopin need to be. My distinguished guest was Mr. Yundi. Thank you very much. Thank you.